Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to create a uh, logo using Figma. Then I'm going to be talking about how to create that logo in 3D in Spline when you export it as an SVG. Then we're going to be talking about animating that logo in Spline. And then the fourth video will actually be looking at how we can export that file using Spline in various different ways from images, videos, and uh, the actual Spline embed itself. And then I'm gonna be showing you how to actually put that into a website so that you guys can actually uh, potentially get signups for whatever you're using this file for, for example. Let's get into it. Cool, okay, so you've got an idea for some kind of business, say. Um, for me, I have been thinking about this because I'm trying to create a 3D music visualizer. So essentially, you want to change your mood to be happier, and maybe you say this to this 3D visualizer, and then this 3D object will morph into a beautiful shape. So if you want to be happy, maybe it will be showing you the color yellow, maybe it will be moving in, in a kind of sinuous notion. Um, and if you want to get pumped up for the gym, say, maybe, um, then you know you can play more aggressive music uh, with a higher BPM, and then uh, it'll actually change this shape to uh, you know be more like angry, like displaced, and uh, maybe a little bit more jaggedy. That's the idea. So I was thinking, oh, wouldn't it be cool if I made some kind of branding for it? So I was playing around with some ideas. Now, if you're trying to create a logo, what I recommend doing is actually not starting on Figma or Adobe or whatever you're using. Um, I actually think it's best just to just to sketch using, uh, yeah, literally like pen and paper or pencil and paper. Um, if you prefer pencil, but just sketch loads and loads and loads. And I think ideas will come out of that. Um, there's some amazing examples of uh, logo designers that I follow on Twitter. <coughs> this guy, Kyle Anthony, um, has got some really amazing work um, for, you know, logo projects. Um, Kyle Anthony Miller, sorry, that's his full name. Um, and there's all sorts of different people that I massively recommend you following um, who will give you some really interesting like visual um, direction that you can explore as you as you play um, because ultimately I think it is playful you know the, the act of drawing logos shouldn't be something that's like oh my god I've got to get like the perfect mark it's more like let's just play and explore and think about different ideas so I was thinking <coughs> I was thinking about different visual ideas and this whole idea of trying to feel more balanced generally because I actually created this um, app idea or I'm starting this whole app idea because I wanted to feel more calm and I was like, hmm, how can that visual kind of represent that and feel balanced and um, together? And so having a circle is obviously a really nice way of, you know, feeling well-rounded, feeling calm. And then having this shape of like balance where, you know, you have the different parts of your life that come together that hopefully, you know, are kind of equal. So you've got like the spiritual part of you and the fitness and the health and the wealth and, you know, having all of those things come together. So that's the explanation for this. Um, finding fonts. I really recommend uh, there's an amazing website or foundry, I should say, Pangram Pangram. Um and what you can do is you can just have a look through at these incredible fonts that a lot of them are, um, yeah, just like have got like an old feel but are quite modern or, you know, there's more modern fonts on here. But depending on the mood of what you're trying to do, if you're trying to create a logo, then I recommend thinking about the font. So, you know, sketching, trying to make a word mark or something. Um, sorry trying to make a logo but also thinking at the same time you know what fonts might work well with this uh, icon can that icon maybe fit as part of the word mark <coughs> um so anyway i found this amazing font uh which is grotesque new and what you can do is you can actually download these fonts from here 
Um, often different foundries have, uh, you know, trials, so you can try it for free and they'll basically give you some uh, like sample fonts. So they won't give you all the different um, options from, you know, fine, like, you know, regular, etc. But they'll give you something that you can try and you can explore with that. So that's what I've done here. Okay, so how do we do all this? So what you want to do, say you were trying to create a mark like this. So this is a 2D mark right now, obviously. This is literally just a flat thing. Um, you can draw different shapes from this panel here. If you want to trace something, say you've created an amazing word mark um, by hand, uh, you can trace that using this uh, pen tool. Um, and then there's a pencil which is just more fluid so you can do fun things like that uh, in here so say you've drawn something you can actually import it whoop you can import it using this sorry i can't actually see there it is that's better um from here you can uh actually import an image uh, into here and then you can you can trace it or do whatever you want to do from that <clears throat> so it's quite powerful tool figma a lot of people do logos using adobe illustrator um, which is an amazing tool and i completely get why you might want to use that tool if you want trying to do um you know professional level work but if you just want to get going with a logo i i think figma is a really good um you know first option so like i said sketch loads think about how you want the word mark to look and feel or how you want the logo icon to look and feel how those two things can play together the icon like some kind of symbol or do you just want a word mark or do you want you know um, a logo which is a bit more flexible maybe you've got an icon and uh, a word mark that can sit together or they can just be uh, independent of each other which is what i've gone for here changing colors you can do that by clicking on the shape you've got using the same uh, using the fill. If you uh, have colors on this Figma board, then what you can do is use this little pen tool, click, and then you've got the same um, color here as you can see in this hex code. Now, if you wanted to create a shape like this, what you can do is you can go into this, click star, and let's drag out a star. And then what we can do is we can actually change the number of sides we have in the appearance uh, section on the the right here um, let's actually not do that as high let's make that something more like 20 and then if we wanted to just highlight these ones here we can make those a little bit more rounded Let's make that say a hundred. So now we've got a shape that has rounded corners uh, on all the sides. And then if we wanted to actually uh, put that inside here, we can do that. We can actually extract this from the middle by highlighting both of them. And then at the top right here, we've got this exclude selection. And if you do that, then what you've got is the top shape excluding the bottom shape uh, which just means that you've got something with a hole in it basically and that is how we've got a very simple um, icon that we've created now what we can do is we can actually export this to spline and then turn it from a 2d into a 3d you can do that with the text you can do that with the icon i'm going to show you how to do that all in the next video, which I'll put just here. See you there, guys.